All right, we're back. It is game number five, and we are in the ace match. It's tied up 2-2 here for the losers group. Or the losers match, excuse me. <laughs> Not the losers group. <laughs> wow, that's really BM. Uh, losers match here for the North American group in the round of 16 for Ting. Spotting here on the top left side of Arena. Everything for this tournament lies on the line for these two players. It's going to be Kelzer. In the bottom left, as the Red Terran, he is Masa. Um, I love people trying to justify you not liking those shows, by the way. And then, like... <laughs> I don't know, I just... I feel those are the type of fanatics who are going to be like, Well, it's fine. She doesn't like those shows, but as long as she likes blank. Oh, she doesn't like blank as well? Well, I guess that's okay, as long as she likes X. Oh, she also doesn't like X? Well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anything. Here's here's my question though. Okay. Is it worse for someone to not like one or two things that you really like, or for someone to have not watched or read or done like ten different things that you like? So you mean like giving it a chance and not liked it versus not giving it a chance? Yeah. At all? Um, I think it's it's worse off giving it a chance and not liking it because when you when you don't even give it a chance, there's still the possibility that you might like it and we're wrong but if you've definitively put your foot down said i saw it i didn't like it you're like okay well i'm not going to change their mind and there's not even a chance a possibility that they'll like it really i would choose the latter but it's just me i i it's like one thing to be like oh you haven't watched like paprika oh well like not many people have like okay well it's like one of my favorite movies it's only going to be like have you watched this or how about that I mean, do you understand this reference? You don't get this reference? Do you haven't watched Star Wars? Do you haven't watched Indiana Jones? What is wrong with you? And then I go on a big rant about how they're terrible people. See, okay, so here's how I would challenge this from you. As By the way, guys, slow openings. I would say, I have not, you know I haven't seen some of Dragon Ball Z. And you sure. love Dragon Ball Z. True. Is it worse for me to have not seen it with you knowing like, oh, I can eventually convince Rifkin to watch this and there's a chance he'll like it. Or is it worse for me to be like, you know what? I saw them and I didn't like them. And there's no way you'll ever convince me otherwise. Um, Cause I feel- I, I, I don't really care if people don't like things. I think cause it, it's a it's more interesting discussion than, oh, I guess you didn't see it. Never mind. See, like awkwardly just trail off. <laughs> by the way, I feel completely different about food. I actually like hanging out with people who don't like the same food as me. Cause then we can, we want to worry about like, <laughs> oh, we yeah. got a pizza. Oh, well I wanted the last piece. Well, I wanted the last piece. <laughs> That's a uh, that's that's very different, isn't it? Uh, we do have cloak banshees coming out of Kelazur. That's the difference in variance in build so far. Is can be dropped tanks out of Masa. Quick shout outs go to JTDC though. He threw us a three dollar donation during that break. I'm sorry that I missed it. We're just gonna do it now. It says, "Hey Rifkin, you know what I got on my pizza? It's an herb, common in Italian cuisine. It's not oregano. It's not basil. It does grow in a bulb. It's not onions. Would like to partake in some of it? Here, Korea is does it as well. Black something." I don't know what the last part is, to be honest. Peppers? It must be peppers. Pepper. It must be peppers. Maybe it's Garland, the bad guy from Final Fantasy? <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, the bit of a trade has kind of started. Oh, yeah, Banshee. There you go, Banshee. Well, so, so that's the thing, though. Banshee at home could actually save Kelazur if the scan gets burned to deal with this one. But there's nothing here to actually clean this up is the problem. There's no tank, there's, or sorry, there's no cyclone, there's no viking, there's no marines out. So Moss is guaranteed to take damage, whereas Kelzer might not. This is like our discussion earlier, like, he might not take damage. <laughs> he, we don't know yet. <laughs> Schrodinger's yeah. cat, man. Liberator's doing what it can, but unfortunately, even if you scan, I actually don't know if it has the DPS to kill a banshee in a scan. I don't think it's- Well, the marines. But the marine, yeah, I guess it does. So that changes up. Eight workers go down, not devastating. Banshee pops out on this side. No scan for this, so the marines are only going to be able to get off reactors and tech labs. Nothing too crucial is going to die here. At least it shouldn't. Very it shouldn't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> odd game. Don't go for the wood of mine. Where yet yeah, the, the side in action hasn't really happened yet. Moss is down oh, five no. workers. Oh, no. This, this might be a problem. Pay it, though. He can't defend both the medevac and the liberator simultaneously. He was chasing the medevac, positions himself to go for the liberator. Now all kinds of problems happen. And while Kelzer was in a great spot seconds oh, ago, no. he's not so much anymore. Yeah, this is suddenly very, oh, very problematic. Wait, uh, oh, no, there's an SCV in there, man. One Marine! Get the liberator! Oh. 
Pelizer might just be dead here. He's pretty far down on army. He's only just now getting a Viking. He can't mine anymore either. So at, at a certain point, he just won't be able to build anything. It's like a Viking and like one tank to come out. With. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well. Oh, a Banshee though. Oh, God, this game though. Um. So <laughs> his just... Banshee still lives, but he's... it is being hardcore denied. He's he's. I, I think. I don't know. So, he's still on 21 workers, but the income being screwed up for so long, that's essentially a thousand. But, uh, Kelzer choosing to type rather than transfer the SCVs back tells me where I think he feels right now in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's revenge for the ruins of the Neon game. Jeez. Can we get Marines an anti air buff by one? Obviously, liberties are a problem. That'd be a way to. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Actually, Marine shooting up would make more sense for things like Tempest and stuff too, but that's a whole that's a whole balanced discussion later. But uh, that's going to end the series, and congratulations to Masa. He'll continue on in the group and survive just a little bit longer to play in the finals against either Hydra or Neeb. But now we're going to go to the winner's match with Hydra versus Neeb and see who ends up falling. A uh, little bit sad to see. I'm not going to I'm actually really sad to see Kelizer go. I like him a lot, and I thought he had a good chance. But as we did see, that was a close series. Like, I really, <laughs> I feel like, okay, Riften's wrong about a lot of things, but I couldn't be more right about, like, thinking these two were going to go close, like, the way they did. And this ended up going pretty down to the wire, even in that ace match. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Need choose A or B. Man, it's not here, though. I'm, like, 99% sure this is trolling in chat, but I don't like being accused of making, like, Rifkin made a sexual harassment joke. Rifkin makes a lot of uncouth jokes all the time, guys. But I don't know what I've said in the last half hour that would be the sexual harassment joke. I really don't know where that came from, because we didn't talk about anything, like, like about triggering, or we didn't even use the word Tumblr. <laughs> there wasn't even, like, oh, Zombie Group doesn't like the show because she's a girl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even go that That's direction. That's clearly the reason. <laughs> Ah, I don't know. But okay, we're going to just assume it's trolling and move on past it. I just want to say that, like, I, I am fully aware of all the very stupid things I say. And I avoid topics on on purpose. But anyways, um, yeah, the winner's match of the group coming up next. We're going to go to a commercial break from our sponsors. Ting's got some things to say. I want to really stress the two big things about Ting, guys, though. Number one, for us... Our only job here in Bay Street DV is send you to their website. Once you're there, if you like what you see, their job is to sell you on their product. So if you guys could help us out a lot, it would mean a lot. Go to bttv.ting.com. Do keep in mind you're only really going to get benefits from Ting if you're in the United States because the U.S. is worth, well, they operate and what they service. So if you are between cell phone plans or if you don't use that much data because you're always around Wi-Fi and you just want cheaper phone plans... Um, or I guess they don't even do plans, they do rates. Ting is for you. Those are the people Ting wants to cater to. So please check it out, guys, and we'll see you in a bit.